the whole thing wobbing. Today, guys, we have the next episode of Pack and Play. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know what day this video is getting posted. It might be Friday, it might be Saturday, but it's not going to be on Sunday, which is the normal Pack and Play day, because obviously that day is Christmas, and there are a lot of other videos already have planned for that day. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Cash for being a part of the Naughty Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below, Naughty Gang. Also, guys, as part of Zerkmas, every single day I'm giving away $25 worth of underdog fantasy fun, so if you guys have been here for that giveaway, just retweet that tweet, follow me over on Twitter, and comment down below on that tweet, Zerk, and as long as you guys signed up or did already sign up on underdog using code Zerk, which matches your first deposit up to $100, you're eligible for the giveaway which as i said i don't know if this video is going up friday or saturday but we actually do have saturday nfl now and there may even be a special available check out my twitter there might be a new special available for you guys to go ahead and get in on right now also if you guys been here for the two xboxes and the playstation 5 giveaway just drop a like in the vid make sure you're subbed and comment down below the secret word on this video and every video because at the end of december i'm going to go through select three random videos and select those winners so go ahead and comment down below we'll go with cheer and leave where to contact you like christmas cheer c-h-e-e-r leave where to contact you for twitter or instagram also i need you guys to get down to the comment section leave me two challenges to do in the next pack and play episode which i have to say the challenges for today could definitely help us now one challenge is if i get a receiving and a rushing touchdown with patterson we get a legend pack which i will say as well if we get a receiving and a rushing td with patterson depending on how many yards he gets maybe we're looking at an upgrade for patterson as well and the second one is if we get 150 total offensive yards or more and we get an interception on defense then we can actually make a poll over on twitter i can choose three different players make a poll over on twitter and let you guys decide on what player we're going to pick up the team now i i guess i can choose any players right and this is a pretty crazy special to be honest like a pretty pretty crazy bonus here that you guys are allowing me to get with this challenge but we are closing in on a christmas right the defense definitely needs some help so i think this one's pretty cool make sure you guys follow me over on twitter the poll though by the time this video goes live will already be like chosen and everything if i actually do go ahead and get that done so let's get into this underdog fantasy just added an amazing new feature into the app called pick'em insurance pick'em insurance is pretty much allowing you guys to win on your slips even if you end up missing one of your pick'em so if you do a normal five pick and you select to do the insurance let's say you only hit on four to five normally that would be a loss but if you hit on four to five with pick'em insurance activated you actually get two and a half times your entry as a win and this also works for lower picks as well if you don't want to do a five pick if you guys do a four pick selection and only three of them hit you still win one and a half times your entry so if you, so if you did twenty dollars on a four pick and you got three out of the four correct you would still win thirty dollars and if you do a three pick with the insurance and only two out of three hit you actually get your money back this is definitely a feature that i will be using throughout the nfl season and also through nba and other sports as well and if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first deposit up to 100 dollars. oh and by the way i am recording this video right now on wednesday so there aren't like any limiteds or the ghosts or anything in packs but i had to record the video today i just don't really have time to do it any other day but we still have a lot of good cards we can get all right so let's get into this and see what we can do as the very first play getting stuffed as you guys saw my opponent's team is definitely very very good so we'll see what we can do second and 12 coming up though and we're not gonna have that open we are gonna have that open thank you for giving me some time in the pocket now a couple things i really want to do number one i obviously want to get cordero patterson up we need to get his overall up get that uh ltd card that'd be huge but we also really do need to go ahead and get like calvin upgraded and also randy moss they both have upgrades we could potentially get as a good catch there patterson so i'm gonna try my very best to get pretty much those three players the ball as much as i possibly can as wow we just got screamed at okay well that's not good my opponent just came in absolutely screaming right there and now it's third and 20 so we got to see what we can pick up here as oh my god travis kelsey travis kelsey with a toe tap let's go oh and by the way that's another player that if he like does really good we could also potentially get some nice upgrades for because kelsey also has like that all madden card so i mean hey that's another player that maybe we should be targeting now here to throw the ball to i am also noticing my opponent is using on tj watt which is a little bit interesting and then he's like backing him off into coverage good catch tyreek all right so as i mentioned one of the challenges is try to get a rushing and a receiving td with patterson 
So we got to try to probably run the ball here. To be honest, versus this defensive front, I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to or not, but we're going to try to get it done. Patterson, you got to get going, man. It's getting really tough using this Patterson right now because he is just so slow. But third and five coming up. Let's see if maybe we'll get him open here in the flats. My opponent is usering on that side. And you know what? We got to try to throw it. And yeah, that, that completely did not work at all. And obviously that's the type of stuff that happens when I do pack and play challenges. You know, I'm trying to force the ball into Patterson to get this challenge done because we definitely need those packs but fourth and five coming up here and we're gonna have Calvin that's not the first yeah that's turnover that's not good we did get a bunch of yards there towards you know the 150 total yards you need on offense but that is definitely not good for us overall to turn the ball over good tackle we really got to see what we can do out here when it comes to offense and trying to run the football I feel like passing sometimes we can get away with it depending on who our opponent has in their secondary but running has just been a struggle lately i think it's a mix of our really bad o-line and also the fact that this patterson is just not that good of a card but my opponent is gonna go to his run game a lot here with uh, earl campbell let's see if he goes back to the run game here second and eight and yup he just ran hurry up and flipped it another tackle and i'm most certainly about my opponent being a run first guy but third and eight coming up here let's see what we can do can we get a stop can we get an interception maybe oh we needed that pick man definitely needed that interception right there and my opponent's audibling down i feel like this is going to be a run here is it like a stretch or something yep he absolutely loves his stretches and he broke that tackle right there this game is definitely going by very very quickly because my opponent does like to run the football here but i did just pass commit and everything here as that should be our interception ed reed with the int and let's see if we can get out of the goal line maybe a pick six with ed reed I'll take the pick. All right, there we go. Interception by Ed Reed. That is definitely going to help the team out and also helps us towards our challenge. Trying to run the ball here with Patterson. Okay, second and eight coming up. I think we honestly might get Patterson open. Yep, we've got him. Cordero Patterson, that is a dot and we're not in. Okay, I honestly feel like this might be our best chance here. I have Patterson in as a fullback and we're gonna try to run it there we go let's go all right guys so we're at two packs right now we already have our interception towards that uh, special bonus as well the challenge there and we just need to get to 150 total offensive yards which i think we're at like 100 right now so i'm gonna look out for that tight end give me that user pick that is so sad now i'll be honest I think I may have held Y there a little bit too early, which I should not do and something that I don't ever do, but I definitely did right there as he's going to go to the flats here, tried to strip him. That is so, so sad right there, man. I'm kind of worried about this guy taking a deep shot on me as he doesn't really have anything open. We get a hit. So I can definitely see as to why this guy maybe likes to run the football more than he passes because he has not really been able to do much out here throwing the ball and that's a touchdown are you serious he threw it into double coverage literally double cover can i see the replay please show me the replay i'm catching this ball look at this he goes right down the field in between two of my defenders and they run into each other and he gets touchdown holy crap that's actually disgusting how my opponent was able to get into the end zone there that is that that's the definition of uh pack and play right there with my luck this year but Tyree kill after the catch making up for it instantly we do have 50 seconds left but I definitely want to try to get down the field as quickly as I possibly can and you know what let's give it a shot Calvin with the catch no way I'm seriously that is, is that a safety I'm that unlucky yeah guys I don't even really know what to say about that that is just insanely unlucky and can I get something to go my way I mean, come on, man. This is this is pretty crazy out here. Second and 10 coming up, though. My opponent's on the one-yard line. I'm going to try to jump something in again. How many times can he get this lucky? Like, can I get a bad, like, throw out a sack animation or, or something to go my way, please? Third and 10 coming up, and he's going to have a big game. He's going to have a monster game all the way down to the 40-yard line. You may ask, why did I blitz? I wanted a safety. We've gotten unlucky this game. And unfortunately for us, the bad luck continues there. I did blitz, so, you know, that's kind of on me for blitzing him. But I also felt like we were deserving of something. How many times am I going to hit the QB? Can I please get, like, a bad throw at a sack or a D-line interception? 
or maybe an actual sack here instead of him just chugging in the dirt every single play and my opponent guy is gonna attempt a 57 yard field goal which he has graham gano i think he can make this and yep he made it ridiculous with only nine seconds left now we obviously kind of just have to chuck this ball here and see what we can do see if we can just get really really lucky and you know what i'm just gonna check it down to travis kelsey try to get him another catch a couple more yards if you're wondering why i would decide to do that it's so we can potentially get him an upgrade after this game second and two though i think i'm just gonna do the same exact thing but this time to cordero patterson which we actually got a great block there from calvin i'll take the extra like 15 receiving yards in the catch and i did it once again I cannot believe the amount of BS that is going on in this game. I understand that I always forget to do it. It's literally, it's like a tradition at this point, right? I forget how bad of a kick return defense I have, and I just kick it off normally because I play in this account once a week, and I literally never do that on my main account. I always just kick it off normally. He gets a touchdown. Come on, man. Okay, so, so far this game, we had one of the craziest touchdowns I've seen of my DBs literally running into each other. We had him getting away from being on the one-yard line after I hit the quarterback two times, and he ended up getting a completion, probably my fault. And then a kick return touchdown. This is pack and play, baby. That's that's what pack and play is all about. But let's see what we can do. Calvin Johnson breaking the tackle. I will also say, guys, we did get over 150 total offensive yards, and we already have an interception. So that challenge is already done. So we're going to be able to run a poll and get a some sort of secondary player, which I'm kind of undecided on who I want to do there. But second and nine coming up. And let's see if I can maybe turn Tyreek Hill up the field. Make the pass. Steve McNair, it's incomplete. Maybe if this was like the full Steve McNair, I could have potentially made that play. But third and nine coming up. Let's just see if we can pick up this first down as we once again have got Travis Kelsey out in front. Kelsey with the big time catch. You got to break that tackle, man. I think Travis Kelsey is getting pretty close here to earning that upgrade. But we do need a receiving touchdown with Cordero Patterson and we had Tyreek Hill open I saw him for a second all right so third and goal coming up guys we need this touchdown with Patterson to get the special here to get the challenge done and we're gonna have him Patterson wide open in the flats thank you throw the tight end throw the tight end oh he's got me beat deep DK wow is what it is we know that's gonna happen there's just not really much I can do about stopping us from getting absolutely cooked over the top there but unfortunately my opponent is now pretty much in field goal range but if we can stop him eh, okay good tackle all right so he's down to the 12 we might be able to stop him here if he just keeps running the ball the issue is i just have like no block shedding no abilities to try to stop the run ran into his lineman all right defense second and three coming up i'm gonna run commit to the right I, I think i have to at this point i have to run commit and i ran commit to the right we get a stop all right third down and four coming up i don't know if he's gonna pass i don't know if he's gonna run what he's gonna do here but regardless of the situation we need to get a stop third down and four and he's looking to go over the top yup i'm right there with steve atwater i knew he would try to throw that another interception that's exactly what we needed and we come away with the interception there now ah uh, this is gonna be really really risky i might try to throw this to patterson i also think that he probably knows i want to go to patterson and yup he was all over it travis kelsey has been an absolute monster for me this game and kelsey's still going listen i don't know how many yards kelsey has right now guys but i think he might have earned an upgrade to be honest to his next card because he has been just dominating this game as we do have patterson open and that could have been a pick that most certainly could have been a pick right there second and one coming up and once again travis kelsey is going to be open and again he gets the first down and we fumble i am so unlucky this game it's crazy i mean it's i can't even get back like it's just bound to happen ea doesn't want me to win i honestly don't even know what to say anymore i mean you guys have seen the video right you let me know in the comment section the touchdowns he had, the two fumbles, I, I I, mean, what can I do? Literally, what can I do about that? Nothing I can do, but we are going to have Calvin, who drops it. Now, we may have actually earned a couple of upgrades this game, though, to be honest, because Travis Kelsey's had a very, very good game. So has Patterson as well. I think both of these guys may have earned their next card, Kelsey, although he did have a fumble. Although he did have a fumble, I think we might just excuse that. Third and three coming up, though. And let's just see if we can pick up this first down as we are going to have Cordero Patterson to the inside, picking up a bunch of yards after the catch. Oh, we have Tyreek. 
Tyreek Hill. Oh, that's going to be picked, isn't it? Wow. All right. That one, I was trying to go deep, trying to get a good score. And to be honest, I may have actually had Calvin Johnson, but I don't think Steve McNair could have made that throw with his throw power. It's just the 90 or 89 overall, 89 or 91 overall. I think it's 89 overall is McNair that we had. So I was pretty worried. And finally, thank you. They helped me out. And that's a pick six for DeForest Buckner. All right, so I'm going to trust my defense here, guys. And I'm not going to onside kick it because that pretty much put him in field goal range. I'm going to trust my defense to get a stop here, but I do want to say this, although the field goal would only make it a six-point game. Maybe, maybe I should have tried non-side. But DeForest Buckner just had a pick six. Usually a pick six would like automatically qualify you to get your next upgrade on Pagan Blade. It's kind of just how it's always been. I think Buckner has, this is just his core elite, and he's going to get a first down here. But this is just Buckner's core elite. I honestly cannot recall if he has another card in between his core elite and the next one. I think he might have like a 90, like, Gridiron Guardian, if I'm recalling correctly. That's an upgrade to me. So that's most certainly going to help the team out here. And by the way, on second and four, yeah, I'm run committing. I have no other option but to run commit versus this guy on second down. And can we stop him? Wow, great juke. That's going to be the game. Oh, last second pick six. Now, I know you guys probably didn't see anything for the last like two minutes, but that actually is going to give us another upgrade. All right, so taking a look at what we did today, you guys can see, you probably didn't see like much in that last like couple minutes. All that happened was I threw another interception with Steve McNair. He scored like a garbage time touchdown. And after I threw the pick, he decided to throw the football there and we ended up getting a pick six. So that's going to help us a lot. But this is actually a big episode. Although we lost, which I got to say, I mean, you guys can let me know in the comment section. Did I get screwed? Because I feel like I got screwed heavily in this game but Cordero Patterson he had a touchdown and then receiving wise nine catches six five yards another touchdown I actually don't think he to be honest like really earned that upgrade not a crazy crazy game two touchdowns is whatever Travis Kelsey though he has an 84 and his next card I think is a 91 I think is his all Madden card I want to say or is it a 93 I think it might be a 93 actually if he got a touchdown, I'll potentially say he earned that upgrade there with six catches, 138 yards. But I don't know if he did on that next one because it's going up to such a high overall. But Darren Woodson, seven tackles and a pick six. He earned that. And then also DeForest Buckner, he had a pick six too. So both of them are going to get upgrades. That's big. And actually, guys, I didn't even think about this when I was just talking about Kelsey there. We have 84 overall Kelsey, but he actually has two cards ahead of him. He has an 87 overall core elite, which... To be honest with you guys, like when you take a look at the card, it's kind of worse than this card because it's even slower and I don't want a slower version of Travis Kelsey, to be honest, uh, even though it is an 87 overall, if we just do a quick comparison here, but he also has a 90. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think six catches, 130 yards is enough to go from an 84 to a 90 overall here. And like I said, if you compare the 87 to 84 overall, Travis Kelsey, it's literally slower, three speed slower. Yes, the route running and everything is better, but I don't want a slower one. So we'll pick up the 90 overall. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get these upgrades right here first, and then we're going to do all the packs, but we are going to go from 84 to 90 overall Travis Kelsey, and then Darren Woodson. This is a huge upgrade. So we're going to be able to go from our 88 Darren Woodson guys to 90 overall Darren Woodson, which is just overall better, two more speed, a lot better increase that user for us the final player upgrade we earned there guys is deforest buckner who we have his core elite he had a pick six it's not gonna be like a massive upgraded dt for us but i mean currently we only have an 83 overall dt truly playing defensive tackle so it does help guys from that game there we got a legend pack eight total packs which then we get one for just playing the game so we have nine total packs the legend pack and the special pack and I'm also going to run that Twitter poll so we can choose a player in our secondary to go ahead uh, and get. So that is pretty awesome. So that is pack number one. We have nine of these get a golds to get into initially. And then we'll get into everything. Pack number two. On to pack number three here. We get a Redux. Hold on. Max Crosby. Was not expecting that. And I most certainly will take the Max Crosby. Thank you. All right. So pack number three. We get a Redux. I will gladly take that. On to pack number four here, we get a 77 overall Kyle Vinoy. Pack number five, we get another gold 74. On to number six, 
Can we? No, okay. Not even elite. You know what? I'm not even that mad. We got a Redux. So overall, we get a gold. Are definitely a W. Pack seven, another gold. 76 overall. Pack number eight. Can we get an elite? Nope. And finally, on to pack number nine of the gold pluses. We do get an elite. I'll take that. 80 overall, but I'll take it. All right, and now we get an elite pack because we did get over five packs. So we get a special pack there. And we have a legend pack. And then I have to run the Twitter poll for us to decide on what player we're going to be able to go ahead and also pick up. So really, really, really big episode. Although we lost, sometimes you might lose, but you end up winning overall because it's a massive day for upgrades for us as we get 89 Ken Norton. Okay, uh, 88 speed. Not bad, but I think we already have two better users. So probably just going to quick sell for the training points. And now we get to go ahead and do an Elite Legends pack here. 100,000 coin pack, guys. Let's get into this pack here, see what we can get. We get 81 overall Jalen Waddle. We get Tunsil, our Legends. 90 Chris McAllister. I'll take that for the secondary. And also 86 overall Emmett. So uh, we badly need this right we don't really have any corners right now we have Shaquille Griffin we just got Chris McAllister and he's probably gonna replace Jalen Johnson I'll take that all right guys so quick so in the cards that we're either not gonna be using we just pulled or that we swapped out we get 18,000 training points now with those training points guys I think it's only right that we go ahead and get our final presence that we can get because as I said this video is getting posted either Friday or Saturday not sure what day but the next pack and play episode we will have all of these presents to go ahead and get into which we get a harvest present there I'm really hoping we get a rare one please EA give me a rare one we badly badly need it for pack and play not a super rare here okay another harvest can I at least get like a large like a large please at least a large if they gave me like a super rare one that would be insane we don't get one here okay another another harvest one yeah I think I've had enough of the harvest can you maybe give me uh you know an actual good one now please small present all right and this is going to be the final present pack but we will get into all these in the next episode of pack and play and uh maybe we'll get really lucky and pull something crazy i think a lot of these harvest whatever is they're just gonna be like player plus packs but definitely a really really successful day we got some presents to go ahead and open up in the next episode when they do open and we have a lot of upgrades offensively only travis kelsey but defensively deforest buckner max crosby chris McAllister, uh darren woodson up to a 90 and don't worry I didn't forget. I'm going to go run that poll. All right, so here is the poll that I'm about to run over on Twitter. Now, although, yes, I'm recording this video on Wednesday, if uh, one of these other players win, the free safety peppers, Charles Woodson, then I will go ahead and I will just record this part of the video tomorrow to showcase us picking them up. But those three players I felt like could help the team out the most, the new free safety peppers, Charles Woodson, or cornerback Calvin. I would gladly take any of those three players in the secondary. This poll's going to be up for 20 minutes. Let's see what gets voted on. All right, and as you guys can see from the results of the poll, the winner is free safety Julius Peppers. So Julius Peppers won the poll. Let's go ahead and scoop this one up right here for 601,000 coins. Very expensive and probably going to be a lot cheaper on Christmas Day, but is what it is i am considering actually usering on julius peppers but i think because of our current situation in the secondary we should probably just let peppers kind of go out there and roam around to free safety so i did throw pick artist on him and now we're going to quick sell the rod woodson and get another presence i quick sold the rod woodson that we had there free safety and now we're going to go ahead and end this video off here with the last couple of random present packs there we go we get a lovely large i was really really hoping we'd get at least like one good present like that and there we all gladly take that now if we can maybe end this off with a rare present that would be amazing but we do get a legend and final one here give me something good please please give me a rare okay we don't get a rare could be good Eh, team of the week but not too bad i'll definitely take that we got a bunch of presents now or at least a couple of presents a couple of upgrades as well on the team this is definitely a big w episode especially that julius peppers so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like the video and of course that sub button down below i believe this video is getting posted 
probably tomorrow as time to record in this part which is friday so i think you're seeing this saturday maybe late afternoon early afternoon whichever the case happy holidays merry christmas check out underdog fantasy use code zerk i'm sure my nfl picks are up right now if you guys enjoyed this video check out these